All right, now let's take a look at the Arduino sketch here. I'm going to talk about some of the basic stuff, but I'm not going to get too deep into it so that people that know what they're doing don't have to uh, sit through this. But uh, if you're not familiar with uh, what's going on here, the quick and dirty explanation, the uh, setup here, this function will run once when the board uh, gets the script, when, uh, when it powers on and the script starts loading or running, this will run once. And then after that, this loop runs. And this loop runs like a loop, runs continuous forever until you unplug it or the board catches on fire, whatever. But uh, this loop just keeps going and going and going and going and going. So we put some things in here that we want to define or have happened just once before the loop happens. This can be setting up some settings that we're going to use in the loop. Uh, setting up some variables, maybe giving it an initial value, and then that value may or may not change throughout the loop. So some stuff like that. Then in the loop, that's uh, like the comment says here, that's your main code. It's going to run over and over forever. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of uh, some of these comments here. And we're going to set this up to run something very simple. We're just going to set up the pen, uh, the GPIO2 pen and go ahead and turn on the light. So what we first need to do is we need to set the pin mode. And this is gonna take two parameters. First is gonna be the pin number, which again, we're using the GPIO naming. So it's gonna be pin number two. And then we need to tell it what it's going to be, how it's going to, is it going to be an input or an output? Are we going to be sending something into it or sending power out of it? And in this case, it's going to be output. So this is going to send the power to the light. We haven't done that yet, but we've told the board that that's how we want to run this pen. Then in the setup here, just for an example, we're going to go ahead and send a digital signal to that pen. And uh, we're going to either tell it to send power or don't send power. So we do that with the digital write function, which takes two parameters also. It's going to take the pen number, again, which is two. And we either tell it, uh, we give it a Boolean value of one or zero, on or off. Since it's already off, let's go ahead and turn it on. So we're going to give it a one. And we're going to go ahead and save that. So control S and then upload control U. And uh, if all goes well, so the light's going to turn on for a second. And uh, more than likely it's going to turn off and then turn back on. It may just flicker. It just depends on how quickly the script gets up and running. And uh, I'm not going to do it now, but throughout this video, I may skip ahead when we're uploading. So there it's on. I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. I don't know if it flickered or not, but it is on. Last time we uploaded the script, it wasn't on. Um, so let's go ahead and just test that theory. And let's switch this to a zero. Save that. Upload it. Control U. And if all goes well, once this is done uploading, the light should turn off. And there you go. It's off. Simple as that. Some of you guys that are, you know, not that, not just getting started with this, this is not new to you. But to those who have never done this before, um, I remember when I hadn't, I thought this was pretty cool. And this uh, started getting the gears turning in my head. Um, especially for never really messing with electronics at all, only knowing how to do things with code for a web page. So this this uh, this was a pretty exciting revelation for me when I first did this with uh, an Arduino board. So let's move on to a couple more uh, concepts. We're going to go ahead and keep this here, and uh, because we want it to stay off anyway for the uh, um, the remainder of the example here that's going to start off. So, 
Let's see, a little bit of commenting there. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to take a look at the serial monitor. So if you're not familiar with this, this is uh, something that gives us a little bit of output. Um, of course, you can only use this when the board is actually plugged into your computer. When you run it outside of your computer, you you know get this output. You could if you wanted to install like an LED screen or something like that. But this is good for development and testing. If you're into the web development and that's how you found these uh, from my web development videos, this is kind of like watching the uh, console log uh, in uh, in the browser in the uh, development tools or something. So you can get to it by clicking this here, the serial monitor, and it should look something like that. And what we need to do first, we need to tell the serial monitor to start up. And we're gonna do that with serial begin, and we're going to give it a baud rate, which if uh, you're older, like myself, you might remember that term from having a, a dial-up modem. And uh, we're going to set the baud rate at 115 200. I'm not going to explain that in this video, but uh, just we're going to do that. Now, with that said, if this is the first time you're running Arduino, there is a chance that your baud rate is not set to that on the uh, serial monitor. So make sure you find that here and uh, select that. Otherwise, you shouldn't really see anything popping up here. And that doesn't really help. So we've got that set up, that's running. Now we can send things to it. And we can do that pretty simply by calling serial and the print method. And we can just send it a uh, string. Let's go ahead and save that and upload it. Control U. And if all goes well, Light will turn on for a second, then when it's done uploading, it'll turn off, and then we should see something pop up here in the monitor. And again, this is just a way to send information back to us as the developer, uh, get some feedback on what's going on. Light off, load digital craft.